Hello and welcome. My name is Alo, and today I'm going to be walking you guys through how to stream on Caffeine using OBS or Caffeine OBS. So first things first, you want to open up a browser and head on over to caffeine.tv slash broadcasting. This is where we uh, keep all of our broadcasting tools. At the very bottom is our downloads page and we have our Windows application, OBS for Windows and OBS for Mac. So before we do that and we get into that, OBS stands for Open Broadcast Software. Caffeine OBS is our version of OBS and it's sometimes referred to as COBS. Now OBS for Windows is a little bit different from OBS for Mac. So if you have a Mac, you're going to want to download the Mac version and go and watch our Mac OBS video. If you're on Windows, then continue on. Now the reason you would want to use Caffeine OBS or COBS over our Windows application is if you're trying to stream a console or if you're trying to stream a PC game that is unsupported by our Windows application. Now, if you're streaming on console, you'll also need an additional piece of hardware called a capture card. There's many different manufacturers of these, but you'll need a capture card that plugs into your PC via USB or PCI, and you'll need to follow the directions of the manufacturer and uh, onto how to set that up and how to get that video into um, o OBS or COBS. Other reasons for using COBS are going to be for uh, more advanced users who want to do really cool graphics, overlays, if you have multiple inputs, multiple cameras, getting really crazy. OBS is super powerful. It's a great tool. You can do lots of fun things with it. There's a huge community out there, lots of YouTube videos on how to use OBS. We're going to touch on the very basics of it today. Um, if you want to get into the more advanced features, please look at other creators uh, on YouTube and or OBS's main website and their forums and they ha also have extensive documentation which we'll link below. Now let you know more about OBS and its use cases, now we want to download and install it. So back on that caffeine slash broadcasting page at the very bottom, we want to click the button OBS for Windows. We'll click that, download it, run the installer. Once you have the application installed, run the application and you should see a screen like this pop up. The first time that you pop this up, it might ask you to upgrade or do something like that. You don't want to upgrade, um, that will break OBS. If you are an OBS user currently, you'll need to fully uninstall your normal OBS version before installing the Caffeine OBS. If you don't do that, you also could break our version of COBS of OBS. Now that you have everything installed and it's set up and running, um, there's a few things that we need to do on the settings page to get everything rolling. So on the very right hand side, you want to click settings and we want to go to uh, video. Under video, change your base canvas resolution to 1280 by 720. The 1280 by 720 for base canvas and the output is the maximum that caffeine allows. So if you do 1080, it doesn't matter. It's not going to do anything. We downscale everything to 720 on output. Same goes for frame rate, you can only max out at 30 frames. Audio doesn't matter too much. Output. Uh, all these output and audio settings as far as sample rate, channels, output video rate, hardware, even if you go in advanced and you know what you're doing with OBS, these variables are ignored on Caffeine OBS when, when publishing to Caffeine. Those variables are hard coded in our encoder. Lastly, we want to click stream and you want to make sure your service is caffeine, server is primary, and then we want to connect our caffeine account. You'll be presented with a login screen, type your username and your password. If you don't have a username or password yet, click down here and click sign up. This will launch a web browser and you'll be presented through a series of steps to sign up for a caffeine account. You'll then need to verify your email. Then you can come back here and enter in the, the username and the password that you just created. We'll click sign in. You know that you're signed in when it says signed in as and it says ALO here. So I know that I'm signed in as my account. Click apply and OK. You get this little caffeine applet window that pops up. I like to put it right here on the side and dock it. Um, this is how you control your caffeine account as far as title and age tag. Age tag 0 or 17 plus. This is the age tag or age restriction for the type of content you're streaming. 
If it's zero plus, you're streaming a game that is family friendly, you're using family friendly language, you're not drinking, you're not swearing, there's not blood and gore violence happening on your stream. Um, if you're 17 plus, you're typically playing a game that's T for teen or M or higher or the equivalent for your region. Um, this would, a good example of this is, hey, I tend to swear when I play video games and I'm gonna play some Call of Duty, which tends to be a little more gory. Um, next, you wanna type a title here. This is the title that's gonna be displayed on the thumbnail on the web page. Um, when people see your stream, they're gonna see the title and this is kind of the hook to get people uh, engaged in your stream. So I'm gonna type something a little more practical. Video tutorial, yay. And then click update radiant and title. And down here you have view on web. When you click view on web, it will open your stream in a web browser where you can watch it and see chat. This is the only way that you can see chat when streaming through Caffeine OBS. Um, and it's also a good way to see your stream so that you can verify that you're online. Now make sure that you mute your stream, otherwise you will get echo on your stream because you will be capturing your stream audio and then sending that back to the stream and you get audio feedback and that's not good. As far as the rest of OBS, that is everything that is specific to caffeine. I'm gonna go over some basics of OBS so that you can at least get going and then make sure you dive into the more advanced features through the various video tutorials online and the documentation on OBS's website. So basically you have scenes on the left. A scene is a collection of sources and you can th think of them as like predefined looks, if you will, or templates. And then sources are the inputs into the, each look or template. I'll give you an example. So we're gonna rename this. We're gonna rename this uh, webcam full. So this is gonna be our scene for our full webcam. We're gonna click the plus arrow down here and we're gonna click, go to video capture device. We're gonna call it webcam. We're gonna add our webcam and bring it into OBS. So I'm gonna choose my device, which is my Logitech HD Pro webcam 920. You can see a webcam of my cat. And I'm gonna change my resolution to custom and I wanna make sure that I'm capturing uh, 1280 by 720. Look at my pretty cat. It's full screened. If it's ever not full screened or in a weird spot, pro tip is control F well, take that source and make it full screen. Any source you add in OBS, when you have it selected, you get this red bounding box around it. You can use this to scale it, drag it, reposition it. Um, if you go outside of your canvas, which is this black area, you get these stripes. That means it's not viewable. All right, we're gonna add another scene. We're gonna call this game plus webcam. And so you can see that I just went black and you switch between these by just clicking them. And these are, this is what I talk about when I say templates. Your scenes are like templates or looks. So we are going to add a video capture device and we're gonna add existing, which is our webcam. We're gonna make this nice and small in the corner. Now we're gonna add our game capture. Click the plus down here, go to game capture. We're just gonna call it game capture, which is fine. Um, I actually play my games in borderless windowed. So I'm gonna, under mode, I'm gonna say capture specific window. Uh, then I choose the window, which is going to be Borderlands 3. There we go. We can see our video there and click OK. Now you can see that it's much larger than my canvas area. So I'm going to select Game Capture, Control F to full screen. But wait, where did my webcam go? So under Sources, this order of sources matters. So you can see when I mouse over, it's still there, but it's actually behind my Game Capture. So I need to drag my webcam and I need to put it on top of Game Capture. When it goes on top of Game Capture, you can see that now my webcam is visible. And I can select it and I can move it around. And I can resize it. Maybe we want it in the upper right, but that covers some UI elements. We'll, we'll keep it in the bottom left, make it a little bit smaller. Put it like that, I don't know, there you go. So that's the basics of video and adding scenes and adding sources. As you can see, there's a ton of different types of sources. It gets really complex. You can add videos and overlays and images and all sorts of fun things. Many, many different types of scenes. Next, we're gonna talk about audio. So by default, your desktop audio should be captured. You can see it here. It's the music from Borderlands currently. And you can see the mic is being captured uh, from my microphone. Now, if you don't see bouncing green bars showing you the levels, um, you want to click on the cog. Oh, that's right, I also have vertical layout. So you might see it horizontal like that. You can choose vertical versus horizontal. I'm a video guy. 
so I prefer vertical. It's more like a audio mixer to me. Um, but let's go desktop audio. You can go to properties and then device is set to default. That might not be correct. So you want to choose whatever you you listen through, whatever speaker or output device you listen to and whatever you hear on your headset or your speakers, that should be the same device that you're capturing. So mine's default. I'm actually listening through my speakers on my Realtek high definition audio, which is just built in motherboard sound device. We're going to click, uh, Okay, and just keep it at default, which is fine. Same goes for your microphone. If you don't see those bouncy bars, click the cog, go properties, choose the correct device. Make sure it's not picking up your webcam microphone. If you have a nice headset, etc., the webcam microphones can um, sound a little bit different. The last little thing about audio, I, I actually mute my webcam most of the time just so it doesn't get in the way. Uh, last little thing about audio is you can go advanced audio properties. It gives you a little bit more control of like independent volume and a few other things. Um, you don't, this gets really complex. I'm not going to go into it, but if you are an audio nerd and you understand these things, feel free to play with them. Uh, and then you have these sliders, which control your audio, how loud or how quiet it's capturing it. So if it's bouncing up into this red, it's way too loud. You want to bring it down. It should be bouncing right between kind of green and yellowish. So that's it. That's, that's a simple configuration of OBS. Last thing to go live, we just click start streaming. We've got all this, we got our age and our title set. We've updated our rating and title. We click start streaming. We click allow access. That should only pop up once on your first install. And voila, we're green down here, we're connected. We can click view on web and I'll bring this over to this window. And you can see we're live. We got cat cam and we got Borderlands 3. And you can see our 17 plus title is up here, our tag is up on the top and our title is down here, recording video tutorial. Make sure this volume is muted. If it's not muted, you will get audio feedback and it won't be good. So just keep that in mind. All right, when we're done, stop streaming. Make sure that green light is off, close OBS and you're all set. Now you can know how to stream on Caffeine using Caffeine OBS. Good luck.